Electromagnetic radiation is widely used in many areas of modern life. For example, in telecommunications, in industry production, in medicine, and also in research. For progress in all these areas, it is important to understand in detail how electromagnetic radiation behaves and how it interacts with matter. What will happen to electromagnetic radiation, for example, microwaves, when they will get confined to a narrow space? And what is it good for? Come, I will show you. Now I'm putting into the microwave oven two halves of a grape so that they touch each other but only through a small surface. Owing to their size and the high water content, the grapes, from the perspective of electromagnetic wave, behave as leaky direct wave resonators just at the right frequency of microwaves in the oven. When the grapes are close to each other and I switch on the oven, the microwave electromagnetic field will get concentrated in the gap between the grapes. What will happen as a consequent effect? We generated plasma! It is an ionized gas composed of ions and electrons. Why is this taking place? Electric field in the spot where it is concentrated gets strong enough to tear electrons out of atoms. The matter is ionized and hence the plasma is generated. However, electromagnetic field can be concentrated also by much smarter and better controlled ways. And even without the generation of dramatic and destructive plasma. Electromagnetic field concentration can be used for influencing and analysis of biological matter at the nanoscopic level. If you want to learn more, visit us during the day of open doors at our institute.